Dad, what is that crazy toy you're playing with? I'm so glad you asked, Brock. This is, without doubt, the greatest toy on the planet. And, mums and dads, the kids, you guys can make this in five minutes easy, just with a few tools. Sawdust and chrome. Sawdust and chrome. Everybody loves. Sawdust and chrome. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jason, or Moose, depending on how well you know me, and this is our five minute project. What I love about this one is that it introduces you guys to some more tools, marking out for the kids, uh, you guys will use a drill press or a drill, depending on what you got. Uh, sanding, a little bit of artwork. Um, and a good excuse to buy more tools. Welcome to another Sawdust and Chrome. Oh, materials list? Let's get into it. Before we get into it, timber. Uh, six mil ply, six mil piece of pine. Any scrap, but it only has to be about six mil. It can't be too chunky. A drill or a drill press. For this one, the drill press is a bit safer. Um, the kids can use the drill press. Not so much the cordless for the big hole saw when we use it. Um, again, good excuse to buy a drill press. Drill bits. Um, we only need one for this one, but buy a whole set because we're going to use them. I'm going to introduce you guys to the hole saw. Um, these come in sets as well. I suggest you buy one because it's a much cheaper way to do it than to be buying these as singles. Um, I'll chat to you about this in a second. Clamps. These are the quick action kind of soft jaw clamps. When I use um, anything like drill related and I need to clamp it, I'm always a bit wary. I need a good clamping system. So I like these F clamps. Uh, you get a good purchase on them and when they're done up tight and used correctly, um, nothing lets go. So I'm marking out stuff. Squares or rulers will work. Um, oh! A board, scrap piece of wood. And most important, or the toy doesn't work, is we need some wool. Um, wool works fine. If you've been with me for a little while, you've already got a little stash of wool. Um, that's it. Let's get into it. I'll probably mention it a little bit later, but with the hole saw, we don't need the drill bit for this one. So what you can do is, there's a little grub screw that you undo uh, you will need a screwdriver, just a flathead. Once it's undone, we don't need this. Tighten your grub screw back up because we don't want to lose it. And see in the hole saw how there's two holes for the locating pins? And that's our locating pin. It's important when you put these together, when you put them together, Sorry, excuse me. Do it up nice and tight, but then you have to back it off. You back it off just a little bit until the locating pins, the dowel pins, can be pushed in. That's important, because if you don't, if you've got it up all the way, nice and tight, and this isn't clamped down, um, when you use it, it gets even tighter because of the rotation of the, the drill. Um, they're a bugger to get out. So do it up. Back it off until the locating dowels click. That's perfect. When you use it, um, that'll come undone easy. And in case I forget to say, this will get hot when you use it, so be careful when you touch it. Um, for this project, I actually don't want the drill bit to stay in. So you can and you can um, take them out. Little grub screw. This comes out. Tighten your grub screw back up so you don't lose it. And thread on the, um, the piece you want to use. This one is a 64 millimeter hole saw. 
And I'm not sure if you can see, there's locating dowels in there that you have to make sure connect up. Pop it in your drill press. Tighten the chuck by hand so it holds it. And then always tighten it up with a chuck key. Oh, I've got the funniest joke about chuck keys. I'll, uh, I'll do it at the end. That's your incentive to watch the whole video. Um, the tables aren't done, because I want to swing it around a bit. So I want it to go there, and I want to be able to clamp it. Nice and tight. Make sure you're happy where it's going. Tight. Table's tight. Got my earmuffs. And uh, we should be ready to go. It's nice and easy. It'll get trapped inside there, so you bang it out with a screwdriver. Perfect, that's all we need. It's a little bit fuzzy, we'll sand it up, and um, it'll be ready to go. We'll do it with a cordless drill now. Like always, your safety and the safety of your family is my number one concern. So if you're new in particular to the cordless, I really highly recommend you check out the video link that's popped up right now. I hope I was that clever. Um, please watch it. There's a few other ones uh, in my description below, other safety videos that I'd love for you to check out, in particular if you're brand new to the gear. Um, and if there's something you'd love me to teach you or show you how to use, happy for suggestions too. All right, let's go. All right guys, now we're gonna use the cordless. But I want you to consider uh, a couple things. Um, I'm gonna show you one without the drill bit in the center. It is trickier to do. So if you're brand new to using the cordless, you might wanna do the other way, but we'll, I'll show you this one first. Make sure it's nice and tight, the chuck's done up. Please clamp your boards. Now, without the center drill, it's actually trickier to get, uh, I guess, the whole sort of start. And you've got to be careful it doesn't wander. I've done a smidge of a demo here. You can see it's all a bit scratched up. That's from it wandering around. So, with, without the center drill. Once it starts, it's pretty easy, but it is a bit trickier, tricky to start. Now, we'll do it again, but with the, with the center drill in it. When you're putting it back together, make sure the flat side lines up with your grub screw. Undo it a little. Please make sure that flat side is where it should be. Grub screw is nice and straight, in line with the flat section. Please don't forget to back it off a little bit until you can put your dowels in it. And please don't forget, uh, clockwise, it's wise to tighten. Uh, that's the way we want to go. Um, Brocky can do this bit. So we've got a lot of room to work with. 
just make your, make sure your center bit is where, where you need it to be. Again, everything with the cordless should be nice and upright. Uh, good point. Uh, Brooke, you just mentioned, can we do a little center punch? Just a little guide actually helps the drill uh, line up where we want. Nice and upright. Hey, that's it. You can pop it out. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Now the toy will work fine with a center hole in it versus one without. It's just a little bit neater without. When you do do this one, make sure you've got a little bit of room for your hole either side. Don't have it too close to that center hole or it'll break one day. Um, thank you guys. Let's do the marking out. Good job. What do you call a guy with a rubber toe? Roberto? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's getting late in the day. Uh, Rate our gag, leave a comment. All right, I got work to do. Before we drill the couple holes, um, we need to get rid of the fuzzy edges. Um, sandpaper, any sandpaper will do. And fold it into three because it helps Rocky wire. It doesn't slip. So it won't slip around. It's just two, sometimes it slips around, or one will as well. So fold into three and she won't slip on you. Uh, go for it, Brie. So just a little bit, we only want to get rid of the fuzzy edges. Don't go too far, we need it to stay round. So now we need to do our um, a line through the center and we need a couple holes. The holes are about three or four mil. It doesn't really matter as long as it's bigger than your string, but I do need them in the center. So Brocky, easiest way. Because our disc is six centimeters wide and if we come down three and give ourselves a line, that'll help us out. My good boy bill is because you should always try to keep as much of the handle in a square on your project or whatever you need. Um, the kids at school, you see them all the time. They don't hold the handle flush against their boards. So make sure you do and make sure there's always as much of it as you can. Sorry, babe. Um, now we can hold our disc flush with the top and use our line as a guide. Now give us a line and I need it one centimeter in the center of it. Perfect. Quick check, I like it and I like it. Uh, I'm a fan of using a center punch or a screw or a nail. Give yourself a little indent where you need the drill bit to go. It helps the drill bit locate. 
This bit, the kids can drill, but parents, please hang on. So I'm hanging on nice and tight. Teach the kids when they use the drills to keep them nice and upright, and they've got to kind of ease into it. Don't be, not too much pressure. Perfect. That'd be right. Excellent. Last bit is uh, a little bit of artwork and our string. Um, We'll get into that bit too. Let's go. All right, this is the bit where mums and dads are not allowed to help. Or you do two. So you can design one and the kids can design one. Uh, textures, any patterns, doesn't really matter. Um, Brock and I'll do these two. Uh, string wise, just as long as your arms, or as long as the kids' arms. Um, feed it through one side, feed it back through. Tie a knot in the other end. Now, they are a smidge tricky to start. But you kind of, you do need it so, oop, about in the center. Strings nice and wide. And to start, you kind of need to spin it a few times. And then a little bit of pressure. Here we go. So it is a bit of a knack to it. Once the kids get it, but they'll get it every single time. Now I'm not sure if you can see the patterns or not. We might have to um, do a better close up. But it is a little technique to it. You kind of have to do the timing. You pull him in and out. It's gone in, I pull out. I pull out, in and out, all right, and that should amuse the kids for a little while. Thank you guys, it's been another Sawdust and Chrome, and um, make sure you tick all the buttons that you have to at the end of the thing, if you want to subscribe or like or um, send me a comment, send me a picture of the stuff the kids do, I would love to see that. Thank you guys, have a good day. Chucky, the bride of Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> sawdust and chrome, sawdust and chrome. Mic test, sawdust and chrome. <laughs> Did the mic work? String, no. Do it again, Brock. <laughs> G'day everyone, my name is Jason, or Moose, depending on how, how much, how, how well you, Fuck off.